Congratulations on signing the new contact, Ryan. It must be a very proud moment for you. Yeah, it was a proud moment for me and my family. I mean, I knew at the start of the season I only had a year left, so I knew I had to push on the season to get another one. And I suppose, given that you signed a new contract, you must feel that Southampton is the, the best place for you to continue your development as a footballer? Yeah, I definitely think so. I mean, if I can develop here a few more years, hopefully longer, but it's shown that they have faith in me, which I'm very happy about. And there's been a, there's been a lot of new players, uh, players sorry, signing contracts recently. Does that show the, the faith that the club have got in, in their youth, youth sort of system? Yeah, it does. I mean, you can tell by the amount of players like in our age group that's made their debuts this season. And it shows they're not afraid to put us in, which is good to know. And that's one of the reasons why I signed as well. There, ha there have been a lot of players that have, have made the, the debuts and, and pushed on to the professional game from here. Is that a factor in your decision to, to sign this contract, thinking that you know perhaps you could be the next one of those players? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, this is definitely the best place for me to develop my game. And I think, as you can see throughout the years, like Walcott, Bell, Chamberlain, like all people, players like them, Luke Shaw. So I think it shows a real pathway at this club. And it definitely is one of the reasons why I signed. So, so how long have you been, been at the club now? Uh, since I was seven, eight, so that's good. Good ten years. <laughs> yeah. So, you, given that you've been here that long, I suppose you must have quite a, a deep affinity with the club now. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've always loved it since I was a little kid, and obviously as I've grown up through the years, I just kept getting like one-year contracts, and then it got serious to the scholars, and then my first pro, then I really wanted the second one, and to have it, it's just a dream come true. So, is, is, with that in mind, I suppose you've had a, you've had a good season as well with the with the under twenty ones. I guess this is a, a reward in a way for that. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> I mean, definitely. I think I've done well this season, but now the hard work's not done. Just got to keep pushing on now, and hopefully next season push on more. It's been a, it's been a, a good season for you. You top scorer for the under twenty ones. You've made your first team debut as well. What, what's it been like for you? Yeah, I couldn't have asked for more. I've loved it every second of this season. I mean, at the start of the season, obviously, I just wanted to get into the twenty ones and then to be regular starter and um, getting involved with the first team was amazing, more than I ever expected. And I suppose, does, does this contract now mean that you it sort of give you a bit of impetus to, to push on and get get to the next stage in your career? Yeah, definitely. I'm, in, I'm hoping next season I can push on, play a few more games for the first team. But that's obviously I've just got to keep working hard and then hopefully in the next few years establish myself here. But yeah, I've just got to keep working hard. And at the, at the minute, you know, you've got quite a lot of uh, competition, especially with the lads in the first team, for, for striking places. Are you confident that in the next few years, when you've got that contract now to, to fall back on, you'll be able to, to push them and challenge them? Um, I hope so. I mean, if I keep doing what I'm doing now and even more next season, I mean, I'm just hoping so, but yeah. And you've got, there's a few teammates of you, Harrison Reed, and Matt Target, who've uh, been called up by England in the 20s and they've got recognition at that level. Is that something that's uh, sort of an aim of yours in the back of your mind? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I represent in England at under 17s, but um, obviously I want to get back in their system now. It's going to be hard, but I know I have to work hard. But hopefully, um, at the end of this season or next season, hopefully just do well and hopefully get called up one day again. And you've been play you've been playing in a team that's been winning games and, and, and playing very well this season. It must be a, a nice sort of a team to be involved in in that respect. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think everyone's had a good season. I mean, we're second in the league at the minute, but obviously people get games in hand in a cup final. So I think we've done, we knew we could do it and um, I think we've done well this season. Is it, is it nice on a personal level as well to, to see people like Dom Gape and, and yourself both sign contracts when you've, you've both been here since, since you're a very early age? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we signed our first pro contracts together and obviously he's done well this season as well and he's earned another contract as well. So I think, yeah, it's pleasing to see us both signing one. It seems to be a real nice team spirit at the minute in the 21s. Has is, is that been a factor in your, in your recent results? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think our team spirit has always been high throughout the season. We've got a good team cohesion, so um, I think that's definitely been a factor. I suppose when you've got that, that sort of togetherness as a, as a squad, then you, you, you're going to feel like you, you, you feel at home here and ready to commit your future. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that was the number one of the reasons why. I mean, I feel comfortable here and I know all the lads well, so that was one of the reasons as well.